Yes, um, I'm a former Teamster from Chicago, 20 years with 710. I was a truck driver. The union, I, uh, the, the companies I worked for were CF, Advance United, and Consolidated Freight. Every six, seven years, they asked for more on the contract to where the company couldn't afford it, so we lost our jobs. We struck on one or two of the companies, but the wage ended up so high that even we thought, well, you know what, maybe we shouldn't ask for it because we'll end up losing, and we did lose. We lost three major nationwide companies. My concern is the private sector versus the public sector unions. Will they do that to the individual states in this country? And my question is, when is enough enough on a wage? From the 30s to today, health care, sick days, a lot of good things they did for the working man. But my question is, how far will it go and how high of a wage until as you see by pensions and by the unions that the states are in trouble. How far are they willing to go? That's just my question. How far are the, are, the, are the public sector unions willing to go? The private sector, if they push too hard, the company just goes out of business because that's what happened to me. And I was a loyal union member for many, many years. And now, of course, I'm doing journalism, which is something completely different. I got out of that trade after three major companies. But that's just my question is, how far will it go before it becomes a real problem for the states? I mean, how much more can you ask for? People inherently want more on everything. When and who decides how far that goes? We've taken everything. They've taken 93% of it, the entire growth from the bottom of this recession to themselves. And therefore, they then say, and there's nothing left for you, so you have to take less. And their attempt to introduce austerity. Today, wages in this country for working people are 16% less than what they were 15 years ago. But austerity isn't about wages. It's yes, about, it it's it's about, about pensions. pensions. Pensions are a part of people's wage. I understand. That's what any boss thinks. How much do I have to pay you for? The hourly, the your... Benefits and for your pension. It's a part of people's wage. And let me tell you, they're making fantastic profits off working people right now. They made $2 trillion profit last year. The most that they've made. Who made $2 trillion? The most that they've ever made. I'm asking. I can't. I don't understand. He's not telling me. Who made $2 trillion? The I, corporations in this okay. country. And they don't want to pay any taxes. Okay. And therefore, there isn't money to pay public employees or to put anything to their pensions. It's called the class struggle. That is, the bosses against the workers. They want everything, and if you don't fight back, they will take everything, and they want you to think that you are paying for the teachers who are making too much, and you should line up with them to cut teachers' wages as they then try to appeal to other people to cut teamsters' wages. And so they want to cut wages in this... They've cut them in half in the auto companies. Cut them in half. And they're making enormous profits. And what they do is try to convince you that you should be supporting them and telling the teachers you also should have cuts in your wages the way the auto workers did. That's what they're attempting to convince the public. And fortunately, the teamsters in this city, uh, the teachers, excuse me, in this city, did not just say wages. They said something else. They, when they attempted to say wages, everyone's wages should go up, but they tried to say the only thing the teachers want is wages, and the teachers said, no, 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 there's apartheid education yeah, yeah. in this city. They, they have more than it. They're taking the money for, and using it for tax breaks for people like Penny Pritzker and Brahman instead of funding the schools. So... They were capable of overcoming the prejudice that the newspapers and the televisions and everyone has put into people's heads about public employees making too much money and having too good pensions, and we should bust their pensions, and they should work for dirt until they drop dead. That's what they want to convince the public of, and the teachers in this city push back against it for everybody, including for Teamsters.